Hi there, it's me Sandy and today I want to talk to you about the scent that I've been wearing all day. So it's my scent of the day and so I went on a trip to Abu Dhabi recently and this is the fragrance that I walked away from Dubai Mall with. So there was a lovely lady at a niche perfumer shop with all kinds of different brands that was very sweet, very attentive, helpful. Um, she sprayed this on my arm and I thought, oh, that's probably not gonna be my style, but I was totally wrong. I wore it around the mall for a couple hours and I went back and bought it and I love it. So I'm talking about Ormond Jane and this is in their um, fragrance line that's called like La Root something. It's I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, does it say on here? No. Um, but anyway, there's like maybe five fragrances in this line. And this one is Indus, I-N-D-U-S. And this is how it comes. So you slide this out like this. Okay. And then you slide this out the other way. It says Ormond Jane there. Then there's a book in here, talks about Indus. I haven't looked at that. And here is the bottle. Oh, dang it, I have it in backwards. <laughs> um, but that's the bottle. It's a 50 mil. Yeah, 50 mil. Fits in there really snug. There's the front. Indus or Manjing. Okay, so to me, this is, well, let's see what it says. I would call it a fruity floral. Um, La Root, so the whole line is called La Root de la Soy, S O I E. Uh, <clears throat> so it's a rose fragrance. Um, it says, well, I'll put that at the end. So if you're bored by the description, um, you can read it or skip that. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it has rose in it. It has black currant, I believe. Um, so the top, the top is black currant buds, lychee or lychee, and nutmeg. The middle is Persian rose. So to me, that's. So I have all these good memories of that experience in that shop in Dubai. And then the fact that it's Persian rose, you know, it's all connected. And then the base is musk, Chinese patchouli, um, incense, and American plum. So I've worn it all day today. I met a friend for coffee. We sat and played Scrabble. She was like spontaneously, oh, you smell so good. And um, so this is fruity floral, but very grown up, very sophisticated smelling to me. It's, um, I've had it on my skin, it's lasted beautifully. So I, having never worn it before, I didn't wanna choke her out, you know? So I sprayed the small of my back, my inner elbows, my elbow pits, and I sprayed, um, well, that's all. And then I just touched there and went on the sides of my neck. So that way I didn't have anything like right in here. So projecting forward. And this is so juicy and fresh and rosy and um, just really kind of unique smelling. It's almost a little bit spicy. It has nutmeg in it. Um, but I wouldn't know that it had nutmeg and it. it's not like it smells like nutmeg, but it just adds to the effect. So I will tell you that my first thoughts when I first smelled this at the shop, um, was Delina by Parfums de Marley. And I still get that connection. It's, if you look on Fragrantica, it's one of the, this smells like suggestions um, but it's not the first one. It's like the second or it's like the third or fourth one as far as votes go. Um, this doesn't have the rhubarb 
so it doesn't have that tart aspect at all. And it's also not as loud as Delina. I like Delina, I have Delina, um, but this to me is infinitely, <clears throat> infinitely more wearable and um, just prettier to me. Uh, I, I might sell my Delina, I'll think about that. Um, but this one, you get the lychee or lychee. It is that fruity, fresh, almost aquatic quality that lychee has and the rose. Those are the two things that I get the most by far. So it's like a lychee rose fragrance, but it's got a almost like a soapy quality to it. And I'm not sure where that's coming from. Um, I have no idea, um, but it's not soapy. So don't let that scare you off if you don't like soapy fragrances, I do. But it, maybe it's just more that it's kind of clean smelling. You could wear this to the office. Uh, you could wear it on a date. I think it's got a sexiness to it because it's so feminine to me. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of like everything I wanted Delina to be, even though I like Delina. Like I say, I have to kind of choose, oh, I didn't say that, but I have to kind of choose when I'm gonna wear Delina because it is, it's a powerful fragrance. I mean, it's really strong, really long lasting, and it's a bold profile. Like that tartness and the, the rose is just, it's, it's just a lot. Um, this is the, like a subdued, softer, not version of Delina, but it's, you know, it kind of got some of the similar vibes, but it has a gentler quality to it. So I think this is so pretty. What am I hearing? My dog is, oh, he's okay. Chewing something up, but it's okay. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to talk about it. I had not heard much about it. Um, well, I had actually never heard of it before that day in the shop. And she was all about this fragrance. It's one of her personal favorites. And I don't, you know, I don't think she lied to me because she had no reason to. She was showing me like tons of different scents. Um, but I just really like this. And I can see myself reaching for this a lot year round easy wear, but special enough that it's niche smelling to me. So that is Ormond Jane Indus, my first Ormond Jane, and I've always been drawn to this house. So oh, it is so pretty. Um, yeah, and I can't believe how well it's lasted all day. So I hope that you found that interesting, and I encourage you to get your nose on that if you ever have a chance. Um, I ended up paying in the $70 range for it, um, which is a good deal to me. Uh, I, th I think it was $79. Um, so anyway, it's great to see you, even though I actually don't see you at all. Uh, it's great to be here making a video about perfume because it's fun and it uh, gives me enjoyment. So I hope it gives you some enjoyment too. I will see you on my next video. Bye.